Emirates MBD launched their new branch of the future in October 2016 and the Asian banker is very happy here uh, to be making a visit to the branch. Good morning. Here to meet us. Uh, we're very happy to uh, meet both of their branch uh, ambassadors. Uh, Good morning. Coincidentally, both named Sarah. Hi, Good Sarah. morning. Welcome to Emirates yeah. NBD Hi. branch of the future. Very happy to be visiting your yeah? branch. Yeah, uh, happy to today. have you, sir. And uh, you will give us a tour of the branch? Yes, we will. Over here. So, welcome to Emirates NBD's branch of the future. So over here in this branch, it's divided into three different zones. We have the digital banking zone that has our ATMs, ITMs and CDMs. And we have the branch, uh, we have the future banking zone where we have four different exhibits where we'll be getting more into detail in, in a bit. And we have the advisory banking zone, which is a fully fledged branch with our customer service representative, personal banking advisors and tellers. So our humanoid robot Pepper here can issue tokens for you, tell you a little bit more about the branch and take your feedback. So this is uh, Pepper, one of the first uh, robots to be used by a bank. And yeah. uh, let's see what you can do. Good, Good day. day, Pepper. Hello, the lady room. Hi, I'm Pepper. Welcome to Emirates and BD, where we invent the future of banking. I'm a humanoid robot and still learning human interactions. I'm here to help you. Here you will enjoy higher withdrawal limits, and cash your checks and even bank with your Emirates ID. So we will start with our first exhibit. So as Pepper here mentioned, we have four different exhibits in the future of banking. We have Visa with their connected car. We have SAP with their home purchase app, really. And we have behind Visa, we have MasterCard's future of shopping. And we have voice banking using the Amazon Echo. So we will start with the Visa connected car here. If you'd like to have a seat or my colleague can have a seat. All right, so here we prepared some examples of how the Visa Connected Car application will be wor working in the future. So you will be able to download this application to your car and uh, you'll be able to do different payments and transactions from the comfort of your own car. So let's say you're coming to visit us at the branch and you'd like to meet with uh, one of our advisors. So, bef so to save time, you can uh, get a queuing token from your car and it will tell you the estimated waiting time. And if you miss your token, it will issue automatically a new token for you. And if you'd like to withdraw money from a drive through ATM, you can do the full transaction from your car without taking out your card and uh, use your handprint for uh, verification and you just get the cash from the ATM. This is one of our examples. We also have uh, an example of parking. So uh, let's say you're going to a meeting in uh, the Emirates Towers and you need to park your car. So even if your car, if you're late for your meeting, you can actually, uh, the payment will be done directly from the car. You don't need to update it and you don't need to worry about getting a fine. And you can also order food from your car and make the payment. It will be endless transactions you can do from your car. This is one example of application of uh, Internet of Things. Visa connected car, exactly. Oh, right. okay. So this is one of our exhibits. Now we'll move on to our next and we'll show you a few more examples. So our next one will be SAP. Over here, our second partner is SAP, where we have a home purchase app where you might have to get a little bit closer to see the application, which is called Really. So with this application, it will allow you to retrieve all information of a property just by scanning the for sale sign. The for sale sign in the future will have a QR code. And once you detect it, once you detect the for sale sign, you will receive all the information of the property. Mm -hmm. You have the price of the property, the square footage, the McCanny number. Have you heard of the McCanny number? No. no. So the McCanny number is a unique code for each property here in, in the UAE. And you can see floor plans and photos of the property, as well as the price trend, how the price has changed during the months or years. And you can see what you have nearby. So this is helpful to know if this property has a school nearby or a clinic or anything that you're looking for in a property. Also, let's say you have uh, uh, you've seen seven properties and you like two of them so you need to make a decision so you select the two that you like and you compare them side by side with all the information next to it 
from price to square footage to what uh, property type it is. And then also you can do an affordability check, which is very helpful to set a budget for yourself. So here you can change the monthly income, the monthly debits, the down payment, and it will give you a suggested price that you should go for. And then the last step for the customer would be to put the time and date they'd like to meet with the banker to discuss the mortgage. And just with the press of a button, you press submit. And now the customer side is done. Okay? So this will be the banker's side. So the banker will have the same application really, and they will receive a meeting request from the customer in this example named Ali Abdullah. So here we have a meeting request. So the banker has the ability to view the customer's profile as well as his banking information and which properties he selected as his favorites. So here Ali Abdullah has selected three properties. So we will invite Mr. Ali Abdullah to the branch to view those properties over here as holograms, which will come to this side. So if you look over here, sir, we will be able to see what Sarah is seeing. So over here, we'll invite the customer to view the three properties he selected. We'll take one of them. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have the same information as in the application, as well as the property itself. So here we can take the floors apart and take a better look inside to see the room style, size, take a closer look. So the good thing about this is that you can also view a property even if it's under construction. Right. Amazing. Yeah. So in this example, over here, this one as you can see here, last sold, not available because mm. property is under construction. Right. But we still get to see the property as a hologram. And we're using the HoloLens here, okay. the Microsoft HoloLens. Wow. And once you've made your decision, you just go to the for sale sign. And congratulations, sir. So this is it for SAP. Now we will move on to MasterCard, future of shopping. Yeah, this way, please. Thank you, Sarah. All right, over here we have MasterCard's Future of Shopping, where you will be able to do your shopping from home, but with an experience. Here we're using augmented and virtual reality. So because there are a lot of entities coming together, we're still testing them and they will be released in the near future. Over here we have MasterCard's Future of Shopping, where, as I said, we're using augmented and virtual reality to experience shopping from the comfort of your own home. So here we've prepared three different examples, a retail store, renting a car, and buying a holiday. And as uh, MasterCard will already know, your, due to your past purchases, what your preferences are, and it will suggest to you different offers and uh, new releases from uh, the new things that you like to purchase or eat at. Over here, it will be a small introduction, a holographic introduction, which is augmented reality. Mm -hmm. Then you will have to pick one of the three experiences, which will be a retail store or buying a holiday or renting a car. Mm -hmm. And once you pick your experience, it will turn into virtual reality. So you could experience everything fully. So you look up, you can see the sky, you can test drive the car, you can go into the store, view, um, you want to buy a bag or a watch, anything you like, you can actually view it. All right. Welcome to Emirates NBD's voice banking. Over here, we're using the Amazon Echo. Okay. Have you heard of the Amazon Echo? Yes. Yeah. So, so Amazon uh, Echo, yeah, is the hands-free speaker that you use through voice command. So over here, we have the um, uh, Amazon Echo for voice banking, where you'll be able to do your banking from home uh, just by using your voice. And this will use voice recognition to recognize your account and voice. And it will also ask you some security questions to make sure it's you. So, yeah, so we will show you a small example of how this is done. Just to let you know, this is uh, something you will be using somewhere private, such as your home or office. It will not be in the branch itself. So Sarah here will demonstrate. Alexa, open Emirates NBD. Welcome to Emirates NBD. To learn how to use this, say hello. Help. Here's some things you can ask me about. Account balance, utility bill, 
Transaction. Check request. Block car. Latest offers. Book Uber or stop. Do I have any RTA fines? No, you do not have an RTA fine on your call G9370, but you have a parking fine of 200 dollars. Do you want me to pay it? Yes, please. Your bill has been paid. I see you are running low on your salad balance. Do you want me to top it up? If yes, let me know the amount of 100 or 200 drones for this top up. 200, please. Done. Your salad account has been topped up. Thank you. Welcome. So this is just one small example of what Alexa will be able to do. Uh, you'll be able to transfer money, uh, inquire about your balance, pay your bills, your utility bills. So everything will be done through this very easily just by using your voice. So this is our last exhibit over here. Thank you very much for joining us. There is, if you're interested, we have a new machine that we've introduced. This is not from the future banking zone. This okay. is from the digital banking zone. Okay. Yeah. This is the ITM, the interactive teller machine where you can do teller transactions through a machine. So by using this machine, you can withdraw higher, uh, with, you have a higher withdrawal limit for up to 50,000 dirhams, and you can cash a check for up to 100,000. Over here, you can use your ID. This is an ID scanner. You can bank using your ID. This is the signature pad, so you can even cash a check. So you put a check in, you receive cash. You need signature, and if you press over here, it will be a video call with an actual teller. And we also have a coin dispenser as well. Okay. Yeah. So today you can uh, use this to... Yes. Good morning. We're just doing a little tour. So thank you very much. That's okay. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. So as you can see, this is an actual teller sitting in the back office who can assist you even when the branch is closed. So on a weekend, on a Friday, you need to cash a check, you can come here and cash it. Good morning and welcome to the branch of Emirates NBD. So over here, we actually brought the future to us today. So we have, as you can see, a very futuristic look and very friendly people, I hope you think. And uh, this branch is actually made disability friendly. So as if you come from this side, so over here we have the regular queuing token as well as Pepper who can issue tokens for you. And everything is made disability friendly. The counters are made lower and you can issue a token. I'll just show you how it's done. So Emirates NBD customer. If you swipe your card, you also get faster service. And we'll just put that and it's a regular token over here. So I'll take you to inside over here. All right. So as I mentioned, the uh, branch is made disability friendly. Over here we have different iPads to actually apply for the Senate card, which will be a card for people with disabilities. Once they flash it, they actually get priority in the bank. And counter number five at the tellers will be a designated teller for people with disabilities. And over here, here we have our personal banking advisors, which we actually made as a lounge and not as a desk and person opposite. So it's made more friendly and more uh, closer. So we have the different personal banking. We also have business banking at counter number four. And over here at the waiting area, Instead of putting just a screen with the token number, we actually display different news, weather, and uh, different things uh, happening around the world, and it changes daily. And behind the screen, we have the tellers, which, as I said, counter number five is the designated teller for people with disabilities, and then we have the other tellers. And if we walk through over here, So we have the branch operations officer, we have business banking solutions, and we have a meeting room and the branch manager's office. And counter number one over here is uh, where we have uh, our customer service. So over here at the branch, we're going more green. We're trying to use less paper. So we have 
provided different digital forms where you can actually update your information and do different things and it will notify you that if you have any pending things that you need to renew it will notify you so you could do it on the spot to save you time uh, so over here you will do the signature you will give your ID and all your information actually will be in the form so we have the the different digital forms where as I said the signature and everything will be done through the iPad to reduce the use of paper and yeah this is this is it for the branch Thank you very much for visiting us. We hope to see you again. Have a great day. Great.